hyperlink element. In this video, we will talk about the hyperlink element. It is a button type, working similarly and having some distinctive features. You can add the hyperlink element by clicking the blue add icon on the quick access pane. In the add panel, go to the button section and choose hyperlink. You can also press the Alt-H keyboard shortcut. As for the button, you can start using one of the popular hyperlink presets. Center the hyperlink in the block by clicking on the center and middle icons. You can also move it freely and snap it to guides if needed. Double-click the text in the hyperlink element to select. Start typing a new text, for example, learn more. Set the colors for the hyperlink states. Choosing blue for the default state, red for the hover state, and green for the pressed state. You can also make the hyperlink text bold and change its size. The hyperlink is also used to perform actions. Click the chain link icon on the context toolbar to open the link setting dialog. And you can use hyperlinks to link to pages, blocks, files, PDFs, phones, emails, modal pop-ups, and posts. Click the Done button to save the link settings for the hyperlink. To the right, you can configure all available hyperlink properties in the Property panel. Click on the styles to quickly convert a hyperlink to a button, and vice versa. Convert back to hyperlink by clicking on the first style option. Change the hyperlink font size to 30 pixels and make it italic and bold. Change the hyperlink's text font to Georgia. As a reminder, you can select any from over 900 Google fonts and add custom fonts if needed. Add an icon to a hyperlink, which is popular in web design. Select the hyperlink and click on the star icon on the context toolbar. In the dialog, type in book and select any book icon. Click on the hyperlink to select, then go to the property panel and click on the icon link. On the icon panel, change the icon size and color, making it blue. You can also change icon, its alignment, spacing, position, and transparency if needed. Go back to the button properties by clicking the link. You can enable the underline in the font section by clicking on the U icon. However, it may look a bit old-fashioned. Alternatively, unselect the U icon and click on the underline A icon in the border section. Please note, the section name has changed to underline. Change the underline state colors, similarly to the hyperlink text. Now, change the underline width to 6 pixels and make it dotted. With this, we have finished the lesson about the hyperlink element. Thank you for watching.